Hi guys, my name is Lunati Mabopo. I am an artist, I'm an actress, uh, I'm a mom, which is very, very important to me, so I have to always mention that. Um, some of you guys may know me from my recent works that I've been blessed with, like The River, uh, Izuila, Kongi Tulo, The Queen, uh, and numerous, numerous commercials that I've been blessed to have. Um, and basically today I thought I should do this video and just share with you a little bit about myself, um, my ups and downs, my entire journey. Um, this is specifically for uh, aspiring artists and actors, you know, people out there that are feeling that they're going through a bit of a mental block or in a situation where they don't know what's happening or what tomorrow's going to bring. This one's for you. Um, hopefully it will inspire you. Hopefully it will take you all. I remove you from wherever you are mentally right now and give you some form of inspiration to go forth, you know, and wake up and be inspired to do better. Um, I'm going to start a little bit about where my journey began. So uh, I fell in love with uh, music initially at school. I mean, we grew up in a home, in a very musical home. At church, music was a thing. Um, I remember going to uh, choir practices, I think, like every single day except Sunday, because Sunday was a church day. Um, and that's where we would perform whatever it is that we were rehearsing every other day of the week. Um, and I was also blessed to go to a cultural school where the arts were in the forefront. Um, and obviously I took on a lot of music, I took on a lot of um, a bit of drama here and there. And that's where it all began. Um, I recall 2008 being in Cape Town and um, hadn't, having had made that decision and spoken to my parents to tell them that I wanted to study at AFTA. Um, which was a big move because I'm from the Eastern Cape, I'm a small town girl. Um, but um, it was an interesting move to move from East London and then to Cape Town and just to experience a completely different outlook on life and how people just were so much more free, you know. Um, but I was blessed enough to go to AFTA um, and knowing me and how outgoing I am as a person, I decided, I mean, like, why not push my boundaries a little bit further? So um, in my third year, I decided I'm going to come to Joburg to learn. Oh, I was studying um, live performance at AFTA at the time. Um, I remember getting to Joburg in my third year, which was uh, not so clever decision, but I mean, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Um, so I went to Joburg. It was tough, obviously, because I went in uh, on my third year. Nobody knew me. Nobody knew how passionate I was about what I'm doing. Nobody knew my work ethic. So uh, in third year, we usually do like these end of the year projects. Um, and it was, it was just one of those tough moments, you know, in my life where I started doubting a little bit about myself and what my capabilities were because I decided to think that people didn't really necessarily want to work with me, you know, but the, the ones who did, we did amazing work. Nonetheless, I took it upon myself again to take a leap of faith and I begged, not begged actually, I remember having a meeting with my dad and my mom and being like, I want to spread my wings a little bit further, you know. I want to go to the States, I want to go to Hollywood, I want to go to New York, so I want to feel how it is to be that side of the world and how they do it in the industry. So um, I was blessed enough for my parents to be okay with doing that and to help me out with that journey. Um, it was a really, really tough journey, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to start with the tough times because, you know, there's so much beauty in leaving your comfort zone, but at the same time, it becomes so hectic, you know, in the sense that I didn't know anyone when I went to the States. Um, I remember getting on that flight, landing, uh, looking around and trying to figure out where am I going to go, what bus am I going to take, uh, what Uber am I taking and all that good stuff, you know, um, being lost basically. but. At the same time, being so excited that um, I'm about to start this journey where I don't know where it's going to take me and how it's going to end, you know. I'm always that type of a person, though. Got through the school, I graduated. After that, I decided, hey, why not take it a little bit further? Let me go to L.A. 
went to LA um, and I thought it was going to be a breeze, like not a breeze, but I thought it was not going to be as hectic, you know. Um, but it was. Uh, I was stranded for my first few weeks or week. <laughs> um, I was ashamed and afraid of calling my parents most of the time to tell them that I had run out of money because I'm not the only child at home. Um, I, oh guys, it was rough, you know. There were times where I went um, without food, you know, and. I think my decisions to start being vegetarian and vegan and all of that good stuff, you know, to start dabbling on that lifestyle was because of that, was because I couldn't afford to buy what I wanted to buy or to go where I wanted to go all the time, you know. Um, so I was frustrated. I was discouraged. Um, I couldn't get work because I'm a South African and my accent wasn't there yet. Um, I recall getting a coach from someone, um, one of my managers at the time that side and they were like, listen, I can, I can sort you out with a coach. It's pretty expensive, but try it out for one session. You guys can decide on how much it's going to be. And I remember it being more than my, basically like $1,500, uh, which was a lot at the time. I still is. <laughs> but um, I couldn't do it, you know, like I literally had to learn via my housemate how to speak in, in an American accent. And that was not even good enough because there's a lot of different American accents. And by the universe's grace and God's grace, um, at some point I ran into a gentleman in a bus having a conversation with my parents visiting at the time. And he was saying that he works at, um, at Gersh Studios as a, a, a director slash casting director. So I tried my luck with that. My dad like threw the, <laughs> the whole batter in there and was like, hey, actually my daughter's in this industry. Why not, you know, can she come and assist you? Can she, and that's how it got work. You know, that's how I started to make some of form of a living. That's how I started to connect with a lot of people in the industry, um, being starstruck every other day, um, but learning a lot more importantly, um, being in the, you know, in the hub of everything. Um, and that's, I think that's when things started to open up mentally for me, where I started to decide that, listen, if I'm going to look and be depressed about everything that's going on right now and how tough it is and how I'm not doing what I love, which is acting and being in front of the camera, um, this is not going to end well. So I need to start changing my mindsets, start changing just who I am and be positive, you know. Um, about every single thing that I'm doing and everything, every single thing that I'm getting myself into right now. Um, so, through all those downs, I changed my mindset. I decided to wake up in the morning, early mornings, and go for my morning runs and walks and um, try and eat healthy and look at it in a more positive light and not because I'm starving myself, but try and eat healthy um, wake up and read and learn, you know, because um, I was surrounded by people who are now in the industry, different people every other day uh, coming to um, cast for whatever film or whatever job that they were doing. Um, and that was basically my journey in, in, in New York and in LA and um, I decided to come back eventually because um, through the relationships that I had um, I've made there, most of them were just like why don't you just go home and um, make a name for yourself and then you come back and do your O-1 visa, we've got you, dude. Like, um, don't stress, there's millions and millions of people who are trying to do what you're trying to do. And um, you need to look out for yourself. You need to, um, you know, you need to know what you're here to do and try and push that rather than, you know, just like scrounging around doing anything to make sure that you are staying in LA and living that lifestyle, you know. So I did just that. I came home, um, which was very tough for me, to be honest with you. I was not ready to come home mentally. Um, I was not ready to face the world back home with all the questions that I did get of, um, why are you back here? Um, 
what is like what happened yo no one you must be rich now um uh what film are you working on how was it that side um, oh my gosh your brother's big made it in south africa i got over there you were in la what happened to you you know uh, those are the little few things that kind of started to bring me down and i knew they were going to happen you know um but i had to at some point um block them out i guess uh, block them out and not really care because this is my journey and this is one thing that I'm learning now more than anything is that our journeys are so different and sometimes you go through something just to learn from it uh, sometimes you go through something just to uh, for the experience um, just to open yourself up a bit more to people you know because I've never been a person a person who's out there you know um, very very experimental but um, uh, very introverted at the same time so um, I had such amazing experiences that side um, and I wouldn't change it for the world and yes I'm gonna go back eventually um, and no I don't care what people think anymore and, <laughs> and say about me and say about how long I've been in the industry and the hustle and bustle that I've been through and only now I've made it I don't care you know like I've gotten to the point now where um, I'm taking care of myself, I'm taking care of my mental self, I'm taking care of my heart, I'm taking care of my well-being. Because if I'm not okay, things will never be okay. Um, and I think with everything that's going on now with COVID, that's the mindset and mentality that we all should be having. That everything will be fine. And this is not the first epidemic that's happening in the world. Uh, this is not the first time that you haven't had work. This is not the first time that you've lost work, maybe. This is not the first time that things haven't gone well in your life. Um, and if it is, I'm telling you that you will get through it. And if it is um, something that's a bit of a shock in your system, just breathe, calm down, um, and understand that every single thing that happens in your life happens for a reason. Every single thing that happens in your life is part and parcel of the journey that you need to go through. Every single thing that happens in your life is either there to teach you a lesson or help you grow or uh, change your habits, you know. So um, let's stay positive. Let's stay, keep smiling, um, keep the love going because whatever you feel, that whatever you embody in your in yourself or within yourself or what you think about the most is what you're exerting out into the universe um, and don't care about what other people think or what they're doing <laughs> guys I cannot express or um, stress that enough I've learned that by worrying or looking out there, what are they doing, or how are they growing, or what are they, do? that's just gonna put unnecessary pressure onto yourself, basically. Um, and it's gonna get you in a spirit of wanting to compare, number two. And number three, it's gonna get you in a spirit of, instead of being happy for the next person, so that that comes, bounces back at you, um, you're gonna find yourself, you're gonna find yourself being jealous, or asking the universe, God, whatever it is that you believe in, why not me, you know? Um, and that's something that you wanna avoid because the moment you question where you are at, you question your journey, um, you, you're you not in the same vibration of where you should be in order for you to grow. So I really, really hope this has helped someone. I know that the things that I'm saying are things that you guys probably know already, but um, the more you hear it, the more um, it sinks in. Um, the more you hear things, the more you t tend to want to practice them. Um, the more you hear something, the more you tend to believe in them. Look at the positive side. There is good in everything that we do. Um, there is good. There's light at the end of the tunnel, like people say. Um, keep pushing, keep motivated, um, keep spreading love, um, keep light. Um, yeah to more life, to blessings, to more love.